Welcome, welcome back to another video. I am Tay and I am the vegan food critic. I hope all y'all been well. I hope y'all been healthy, staying safe, and most importantly, eating some good food along the way. So what are we getting into today? We're getting into a local restaurant here in Cleveland called Fresh Time or Fresh Life 216. Um, it's a local spot, black owned business. They have regular food and both vegan food. They also have acai bowls and smoothies and stuff like that. But I'm gonna go in, look at a couple of items in their vegan menu, see what I wanna grab, and I'm gonna grab a couple things and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So I got the two items, the vegan pulled pork sandwich and the vegan meatball subs. Go ahead and show y'all those right now. So this right here is the vegan ball sub. It got plant-based meatballs, organic homemade marinara, some green peppers, some red onion, vegan cheese on pretzel buns. Oh my gosh, as you can see, the cheese on them things is looking crazy. It's looking insane. This is the vegan pulled pork sandwich. It is jackfruit smothered in barbecue, topped with organic homemade coleslaw, red onions, scallions, fried jalapenos, and fried onions on a pretzel bun. Before we hop into it, I'm gonna show y'all this little thing. Look at this, boy, this is gonna help the review so much. Shout out to my honey for getting me this. It's gonna be very helpful. So first, we gonna hop into this vegan pulled pork sandwich. Showed y'all a little preview. Got my little steering wheel plate. This thing helping me greatly. Let me get y'all a look at it when it's out. Oh my. Oh my. 360. Bun a little. A little hard. They toasted it. As you can see from the top, they definitely toasted that thing. It's a little hard though, but let's go ahead. Hop into this thing real quick. Cheers. This is going crazy. Barbecue super flavorful, coleslaw. Let me, hold on, hold on, before I even start rambling, hold on. Okay, this right here, this ain't no joke. This ain't no joke. So I got caught up in eating a little bit there. I destroyed like, had like one more bite of the sandwich left. But the sandwich is really good. They give you a plentiful amount of toppings. Um, I like the green onion. I like the fried onions that they put on there as well. Very nice touch. The jalapenos are good. I like the jalapenos on there. The jackfruit is cooked well. I get a load of toppings that fell off, but that's okay. I can't complain. I'm never going to complain about that. Red onion, good. A lot of onion flavors in here, but it's good. The jackfruit is cooked well. The barbecue sauce is super flavorful. It's like a standard barbecue sauce like a little sweet a little tangy but it's very solid overall very good got some garlic on here i can taste for sure this is a very good sandwich the one thing i could knock if i could knock anything it would be the bun i like the pretzel bun the pretzel bun is good i just wish it was a little bit less toasted it's kind of tough but it's not bad like it's not super hard or anything like that like it's still easy to bite through it's not like breaking your jaw or anything like that but i just wish it was a little bit more soft so on the vegan pulled pork sandwich like i said all the toppings are fresh. They taste fresh. I didn't say that before, but I'm saying it now. Toppings are fresh. Toppings are plentiful. I like the different elements. You got the crunchiness from the raw onions. You got the crunchiness from the fried onions. The softness with the bun. The bounciness with the uh, jackfruit is very good. The sauciness, you know, I like my food saucy. Got the sauciness from the barbecue. They weren't stingy on anything. Jalapeno tickling my throat a little bit right now, but it's not hot. But the jalapeno definitely give my throat a little letting me know it's there. So my score on this vegan pulled pork sandwich, I'm gonna go like, oh, I'm gonna knock that on my lap off this little sterile tray. I'm gonna go 8.2 on this vegan pulled pork sandwich. It was very good. Everything was coming together well. Everything blends together well. You just get the sandwich, no side with it. You know how I feel about that, but it's okay because the sandwich was smacking. 8.2 toppings were good the toppings go together well with the sandwich and everything so 8.2 only knock the bun a little a little tough but it's still smack 8.2 on to the next item so for the next item i got show jaw we got the vegan meatball sub look at that hella cheese hella marinara you can't even see the meatball oh. Okay, you can see the little dad right there. He peeking, he peeking out meatball, little meatball. But 
I haven't seen any vegan meatball subs, so I was like, man, I gotta scoop one of these up, see what it's in for. Don't really like meatball subs, but hey, I'm willing to give it a try. I'm a critic. I gotta try new things, give you guys different views, new looks, new meals, all of that. Let's go. Enough talking. Inside a meatball there. Mmm. That tastes like pizza. A meatball is not bad. A meatball is actually pretty good. I got three meatballs on here. I see they folded the top of a pretzel bun. I like that. <laughs> Fold it in half. I like that. But cheese, good. A marinara sauce is good. It's not super flavorful. This isn't as flavorful as the jackfruit sandwich. Let me get a bite with a lot of cheese on it. Mmm. Okay. Green peppers, add, add a nice little touch of green peppers, the green onion. There's not too much of it on here, but it's definitely in there. The meatballs are good. I enjoy these meatballs. Things, when I eat things like this, it makes me question, like, what are so-called real meatballs made of? What are they vegan the whole time? What are they using in these things, man? But the meatball's pretty good. The cheese is pretty good. The marinara sauce is okay. I like the toppings, the green onion, green pepper. Let me go ahead and just finish this, finish this off real quick, man. So it's good. It's pretty solid. I enjoy the vegan meatball sub. I wish the marinara just had a little bit more flavor. It's kind of bland. Uh, the cheese is a good touch. The meatballs are very good. I like the meatballs and how they taste. I like the green peppers added on top. The green onion, the regular red onion gives it a nice crunch. Every couple bites you get a nice crunch of raw onion in there. It's really good with this. So if I had to score this vegan meatball sub... So if I had to score this vegan meatball sub, I think I'm gonna go around 6.9, almost cracked that seven. It is good, it's just not like super good or like, oh my God, but it's really good. I would order it again, fair, it doesn't come with the side as well, but you get two meatball subs, so it's not bad. They're good size, you get a good amount of toppings, they're not stingy again, three meatballs on each sub, which is pretty fair. Um, a lot of cheese, a lot of marinara, just the flavor, it's not there as much as I would like. 6.9 on the vegan meatball sub. Well, that's gonna do it for Fresh Life 216, the restaurant in Cleveland, Ohio. I really enjoyed this. It was a good meal. I would definitely come back and try some of your other items when that time presents itself. But for everybody watching, I thank you guys out there. Thank you for all the support that you've been giving me, the comments. I just love interacting with you guys and just love growing and just love showing you guys new places to eat. So I just thank you guys again. And if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. It helps get this video out to more people. It helps more people see. It helps your boy grow so we can go to other places. So, so we can travel, man. So we can just do more things. So drop a comment. Let me know what you thought. I love replying to comments. I reply to every comment that you guys leave. If you enjoyed and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you enjoyed this video and want to check out another one, I'll leave one right here for you. And if you want to subscribe and I'll just make it easy for you, I'll leave that subscribe button somewhere over here. So thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. And until next time, peace.